Keep it simple foam tech here with another installment in the basic series. This time we are going to talk about the back button. Now the back button's job is to take you back one step from the previous screen that you were on. We'll show you how that works in just a moment, but first we'll talk location. Now typically the back button is either to the left or to the right of your home button. In this example of the Windows phone, our back button is to the left of the home button. The back button will look like an arrow and it will be pointing to the left. And actually in most cases it's going to look like an arrow pointing to the left. In some cases, if you have a back button that's actually a part of the touch screen, it may just look like a triangle pointing to the left. But it's going to have the same function. So, again, the general location is going to be either to the left or to the right of the home button. Most manufacturers put the back button on the left side of the home button, whereas Samsung, they tend to put their back button on the right side of the home button. Okay, so now we have an idea of the location of the back button. Let's take a look at how it works, starting with our Windows phone. So, we're on the home screen. I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge, the internet application. Now we've got this web page loaded up. and Let me just go ahead and pull up a web page here. Alright, so we pull up a web page and what will happen is when I press on the back button it's going to take me back to the previous page that we were on. Alright, and that's the page that we started with. So it takes you back one step and if I were to press on the back button again it would take us back another page and that's back to where we started from, the home screen in this case. The back button differs from the home button in that the back button will just take you back to the previous page that you were on, while the home button will take you back to your home screen. So make sure that you are clear on that. Let me show you an Android phone as far as, uh, we'll take a look at the Samsung and we'll see what the back button looks like on there. Okay, we have our Samsung in front of us now, and again, I mentioned that the back button is going to be on the right side of the home button instead of on the left side, but here's another thing that I wanted to point out for you because this will trip up some of my customers. Okay, we clearly see the home button. Forgive the glare there of the light. And again, I say the back button is on the right side, but can you see it? If you look real closely, it's very faint. I don't know if the camera is really picking that up. And again, this is what trips up a lot of my customers in that because of the way sometimes Samsungs will have their phones and the way they have their the colors of their phones, you can't always see the back button. But it is backlit in that if you press on the area where the back button should be, like so, then you'll see it. You see that it appears briefly and then it disappears. So, just wanted to point that part out in that it's there and its function is still to take you back one screen, but you may not see it right away. So, keep that in mind. And again, it's going to have the same function as what we notice on the Windows phone here. Let's just show you a quick example. Okay, we're starting from the home screen. I'm going to Press on the Google application. I'm going to press on the back button. It's going to take me back to the previous screen. And in this case, it's the previous screen that I was on when I was in the Google or Google Chrome application. Okay, let me mention this to you also. Sometimes you may have more than one option to use as a back button. You might see a second back button and that back button will be actually within the application itself. So let's show you that example right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings and we'll actually talk about we'll talk about this in the future video here but for now we're gonna go into the settings and I'm just going to select applications. Now, if you notice in the upper left corner, you'll see that arrow. 
and there's also a back button. So it's going to take you back one step just the same as this back button would. So if I press on that arrow, it takes me back one screen. Now you'll notice also that the arrow disappears, so I no longer have the option up here to use as a back button. But this still down here, which is the dedicated back button, will also work just fine. So some applications will give you that secondary option. I guess it's just because the application maker wants to do that. But I just wanted to point that out for you in that you don't always have to use the dedicated back button. Sometimes you'll have that option of a left arrow in the upper left corner is generally where you see it within an application, depending on the application. Not every application has it, but I wanted to point that out for you. And just to show you briefly, we have another Windows phone here, but what I wanted to show you is the back button that is a part of the touch screen instead of the part of a phone, like what we saw on our first Windows phone and our Android phone. So, back button is going to have the same function it's just going to be on the touch screen so if I turn the screen off like so the back button disappears and so the back button it's a dedicated back button but only when the touch screen is illuminated and finally we have our iPhone in front of us and unlike Windows and Android there is no dedicated back button there's only the home button that they have on the front of the phone but no back button however like what we just saw with the Android where within the application there is a back button Apple does it the same way and so instead of there being a dedicated back button they're just gonna have it within their applications so you'll see in the upper left corner we're in the settings right now and we're under the subsection of general. We have our arrow pointing to the left here in the upper left corner. So when I press back, it'll go back one step for us. Now let's just pull up another. We'll pull up the news application. We'll go inside of here and take a look at some baseball stats. Again, in the upper left corner, you have the back arrow. So Apple, they do it a little bit differently. Instead of having a dedicated back button, they just put the back button within the application to help you to go back one step. Right, and that will do it for the back button. Again, you can expect to find a dedicated back button either to the left or to the right of the home button for both Windows and for Android. And for iPhone, expect to find a back button in your applications, but not a dedicated back button because again, iPhone, they only have a dedicated home button on the front of their phone. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and this is Keep It Simple Phone Tech.